Welcome back with me, Brian. We're now in my office and we're going to examine this two volume early 20th century set. It's a beautiful set. Uh, top edge is gilt, nice gilt uh, spine compartments with small little dots in the corners and lettering, marbled uh, paper covered boards like so with end papers. It's an English calf binding. Uh, and these are heavy books too, actually. The paper is uh, a coated stock. It's deckled edges. As you can see as I flip through it, it's profusely illustrated. The frontis is a photogravure, a uh, woman walking holding a piece of paper of some kind down here. In the foreground, lettered uh, tissue guards, the title in red and black. It's the first edition, 1907. Uh, the photographs uh, that are throughout it uh, are sometimes full page. I notice that there are uh, even some pages within it which are still uh, unopened like this. In fact, there's quite a number of them. This is intentional on the part of the publisher. It is in no way a defect. Uh, and what it means is that this book, in fact, there's a, it's basically unopened. What you would do is just take the, uh, a clean butter knife, turn it around to the blunt edge, uh, insert the knife. Uh, I could even show you, but uh, I won't, but I'll just tell you because it's simple. You just simply open up these uh, two leaves like this, insert the blunt edge of the uh, butter knife, and then you just, with the tension of the knife, just move it up and the edge will cleanly uh, open up uh, because of the crease. So the uh, cut will come naturally uh, to the crease line. And uh, these plates here, there are some of these rotogravure plates that are printed on a heavy paper stock with an impression like so. Uh, with tissue guards. Those are scattered throughout. As you can see, there is just this profusion of very interesting black and white photographs. This is the quintessential armchair travel sort of book uh, for anybody interested uh, in cathedrals uh, and ancient architecture uh, in France uh, and on the continent of Europe. Here we have again, second volume, same condition, really attractive, clean, uh, tight, and sound with the marbled end papers, the heavy paper stock frontis uh, with a photogravure, and like so. And here we have at the rear this uh, folding map. They do this style of folding map for books like this of this era so that as you're reading the book, like so, the map folds out and you can then find on the map where. Uh, the, the, the specific building or cathedral uh, is. And you see here, this is where the, even the, the key corresponds to the book with the specific cities like Limoges and so on, uh, highlighted on the map. And there we go, that shows you uh, how it survives, how this uh, set uh, looks now. The spines are uniformly sunned as is typical with green leather of this era to this nice mellow chocolate, light chocolate uh, color. Uh, and if it interests you, it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.